People came to my house and stole my $25,000 fish collection. Please watch the entire video so the video will go viral and spread awareness. I beg of you, please watch the entire thing. He took a razor blade. Sha, sha, look at all this. Look at this. all of this. Oh my God. All of my fish are dead. He drives up to the getaway car and pushes him to tell him to keep going. And the getaway car starts going down the street. The cop... Profam, I try and be positive. I try and bring my daily life into your life. Um, a couple days ago, I had people running around in my backyard. My brother had a pistol aimed at this guy. And he didn't take the shot. He thought that guy's life was more worth it. He let his dog chase him and that was the end of it. You would have thought that that scumbag would have just thought that that was the end of it. But no. <laughs> I just woke up. I just woke up and my whole life is gone. You literally just threw them and you left your stupid little mat because this is what you had to try and take my fish. I rescued this koi. This right here is for my bass. For those of you guys don't thinking this thing is a monster. This is Cash. They're both absolute studs, bro. As you guys can see, he's massive. This is Fort. He's close to 10 pounds. I mean, he's massive. Go in there, buddy. I know. I'm sorry, buddy. I love you, bud. This is a $7,000 koi. Go, buddy. Hi, Goldie. This is a rescue right there. This is cash right there. Don't worry guys, you guys will have an amazing burial. I love you guys, all of you, each and every one of you. Steeler, you were an amazing koi. I never thought I'd get a koi like you, baby, but you were an amazing fish. All of my fish are dead. So long story short, all my fish are dead. Let me show you guys how it happened. Right here, this guy jumped over the fence, walked right here, and you see this little crater right here? Well, he slit the pond right here the first time, left for 10 minutes, went over there, I watched the cameras, left for 10, 15 minutes, then came back whenever my fish were flopping around, and then he took a razor blade. Sha, sha, look at all this, look at this, all of this, oh my gosh, and destroyed my pond on video, okay? This guy realizes that my pump inside the pond is making up too much noise. So he comes over here, I still haven't touched them, look. They are loosened to heck, and he thinks that twisting this is gonna do something. This is a filter, bro. Whoa, whoa, there's a hole. But there's a, there's a filter, bro. This doesn't make any noise. This filters everything. The pump makes a noise, bro. Clearly, this guy knew nothing about fish keeping, and he was just a complete hater. The guy is trying to, like, ratchet my filter, and he's just like, Thinking, oh my god, the filter's making so much noise. Oh my goodness, it's the pump. Okay, long story short, let me continue with what this guy did. The guy made himself like a little door and went in here. Look like right this. Oh, just like this. Oh, okay, sorry. And then, whoa. And he was actually, I could see him on the camera. He's, he's flopping around, going like this. He has a garbage bag and he's like walking around and picking up my fish and stealing each and every one of them. Then, a car drives by with a cop and if the cop actually has his ghetto like his like cop cam on he drives up to the getaway car and pushes him to tell him to keep going and the getaway car starts going down the street the cop was here because we we did a, a police report a couple days ago Guys, we literally did a police report, a report, and he starts shining our house. While the guy's in the pond, he starts shining our house, the cop did. And 
and the freaking getaway car just slowly drives around, does a U-turn because the cop went down to the end of the street, comes back, and I'm just like, at all, I'm literally watching this all on the camera, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, are you kidding me? This guy got so lucky. Long story short, he gets all the, the fish, right? He goes back outside the pond right here. Then he jumps back over the fence and he starts going walkabout with the freaking, with all of my fish in a freaking garbage bag. He walks down the street and then he goes to the edge of my property. And he's waiting for his getaway car to come back. And he has a knife in the ground with his stupid little garbage bag or whatever guys this guy knew nothing about fish keeping he is a absolute dweeb um he just it took him 30 minutes to steal a couple fish if this was me which it wasn't and just all you had to do was take a big net scoop them all up throw them in the cooler and go friggin five minute process this guy made a 30 minute process raw you guys caused this by being such amazing fans, by being such active followers in my channel. Guys, people are watching us. People are saying, yo, how the heck is Franklin raw fishing being so successful? And you wanna know why? Because of you, raw fam. You guys are such amazing subscribers. People are jealous. They're watching us. Man, I don't want that kid to be successful. Why would I want Franklin Sieber? Franklin, the dyslexic kid that can't read. Hey, like, oh, yo, pick Franklin. Let's see Franklin read in class. I'm dyslexic. Let's go see that dumb ass. Let's go see him be successful. They don't want to see us be successful, Raw fam. They really don't. Those Pakus weren't that valuable. Those, if they were really after money, they would have taken the koi. They just don't want us to be successful. They want us, Raw Fam, to separate. They want me to go off and say how I would have killed this guy and how, oh, if I would have had my shot, I could have, I could have beaten him up. This is a cheap shot. Yeah, but it didn't play out that way. I wouldn't have made this video if I would have pulled up on him. I would have made the video of them whenever the cops were there and I was in front of them and they were, I made a citizen's arrest. But that didn't happen. It didn't pan out that way. That's not the way God planned it. God somehow wanted this to happen now so I would be smarter for the future because we have something planned. We have huge plans, guys. That's why. God said, hey man, we could go off. We could let all your fish die right now. But when you get the good stuff, when you're at a million subscribers, bro, we don't want that to go wrong. Franklin, you need to get your property right. You need to get all this bad stuff and anything that could happen negative in your life away. Franklin, you need to be smarter. You need to do this. You need to do that. You need to have cameras. You need to do this. I have cameras. What is the camera going to do? The fish are dead. It's, it's not going to bring, a camera's not going to bring something back to life. A coward did this, Raw fam. I'm not blaming you guys. But I'm blaming you guys for being so amazing. Raw fam, I love you guys. This is my life. This is my job. This is my career. And I love each and every one of you guys. And guys, I love the Raw fam. And that's the only way to say it. I love each and every one of you guys. And you guys are the most amazing people. And you guys have changed my life for the good. Guys, I could be at college right now. Living it up. But I got the opportunity to live my dream. And stay here. I did great in high school. I didn't skip classes. I did all my work. I got A's and B's. I could have gone to college. I didn't. I stayed here for you guys. And honestly, guys, you guys have made it the best year of my life. You guys have just, you guys have no idea. We're going to make the most epic videos ever, guys. We're going to push it to the max. We're going to push it to the extreme. And the only one way you could look at this in a, in a good way at all, this is the only good way you could actually look at this is, I mean, uh, there's no good way to look at this. My fish are dead. All right, Raw fam, I love you guys. That's my rant. Um, I'm sure you guys already saw me cry in this video. I ran out of battery life of battery storage or SD card storage in my last one. 
Love you all, fam. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna go bury all of my fish. I'll see you guys soon.